This is going to be an ocean board, great for charcuterie, functional art display. Mixed up the clear resin, I'm using counterculture resin. Made sure my surface was level. I'm just separating the resin into these different containers. And I've got white, various shades of blue and green, and leaving some clear as well. In the description, I'll list all the exact colors and brands of the paints and mica powders and pigments that I'm using. Now for the fun part of mixing them in. I'm going to make sure you get all of the mica powder completely disintegrated into the resin so you don't have any clumps. And then here's the fun part. We're going to layer on all of these different colors. We'll start with the clear, which is going to be a barrier in between our white and our blues. And then you go from your lightest blue green down to your darkest. That gives that realistic ocean look. As the water gets deeper, it looks darker and bluer. Mix this however you like. I'm using my finger popsicle stick blending the colors so there's more of a natural gradient. And of course use your heat gun to blend out. That works really well and I'm using the torch to pop all the bubbles. I always keep some molds handy so I can fill them with extra resin that might be falling off then it none has to go to waste. You might get a coaster or two out of it. Okay, now we're adding our white wave line, which goes on the very top above the clear. And this is the most beautiful part, blowing the white wave over the colors. You've got that frothy, foamy white wave look. And then now I'm just cleaning it up a little bit, tweaking the design and just adding where the color looks a bit thin. Um, the heat gun, the torch will pop the bubbles, but it also will um, enhance the lacing, the cell lacing that you really want to get in those white waves. Day two. I decided to add another layer. I like how this looked, but it was a little bit translucent and I wanted some depth of another layer of waves and color on top of this. So I'm going through the same process again. Um, I think I kept the same colors as well, just mixing them up, clear layer, and then the light blues down to the dark blues, blending, heat gunning. I've got some more coasters I'm gonna add. I did that one yesterday and I'm doing three more so this can make a set. And now I'm gonna go in with my white and do that wave line. So we've got one more layer, blow that out. Just hope to create some more dimension. I've got some nice cells happening with the torch. And um, regrettably, I didn't take a final picture of this board before it left my possession. So I'm showing you a couple of other charcuterie boards that I did with the same technique. And I put these, um, the videos for these linked in the description. So if you want to watch the videos of these boards as well. But this was a really fun project and um, I hope you like how it turned out. Uh, give a thumbs up if you liked it and join me for another video by subscribing to the channel and I'll see you soon. Thanks!